For-profit colleges are in the news again today, uh, which I absolutely love. Uh, more and more stories are coming out criticizing them. And, you know, Alec has also been in the news recently uh, because of the fact that they uh, support and endorse harmful legislation in this country. But unsurprisingly, a lot of for-profit colleges, including Kaplan, uh, were members of Alec last year. Uh, according to the Washington Post, which owns uh, Kaplan College, uh, Kaplan College stopped being a member of Alec in August uh, of 2011. It's really interesting because one of the stories that we did on this show was on gainful employment. And gainful employment would basically regulate these for-profit colleges to make sure that uh, the number of people who graduate from these colleges are not defaulting on their student loans, they're getting a quality education. It was a great piece of legislation in the beginning, or proposal, I should say, by the Obama administration. Um, but in the end, they passed like this watered-down version of it that would basically allow these for-profit colleges to screw up three times in a four-year time span before they get, uh, you know, punished for it. So they worked with ALEC to make sure, to lobby to Obama's administration, to members of Congress, to make sure this watered-down version comes out. And it's just incredible how many different elements that ALEC is involved in. Like, ALEC isn't just involved in stand-your-ground laws. It isn't just involved in immigration laws. It's involved in every single aspect of this country and they were so highly yeah. effective. Anywhere where they can get a legislature to buy a law, they'll find a law for it. I mean, they, believe me, they're scouring the country, finding out what works where, and then they'll write that law and they'll be like, here, it's yours. We did all the work. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Browse, if you will, as to what laws you'd like that we've written that you can use. Yeah. It's incredible. So one of the laws that they uh, were endorsing is known as the educate and train in affordable ways, right? And basically, state officials recognize the value of for-profit providers and community colleges, which are primarily open access systems that serve students at the least expense. But that's not the case at all. And that's the argument that for-profit colleges make on a regular basis. They say, hey, look at our college. It's so affordable. And it gives all of these minorities and all of these uh, underprivileged students an opportunity to get a great higher education at a low cost, right? So, and Do you they, think they put great in quotes when they even make that case? <laughs> Great. Right. That would be awesome. Yeah, come on, get some great education. Like just every time, just do it really quick. Yeah. I would. I would prefer that they at least do that, right? Yeah. But they don't even do that. They're very. They're, they blatantly lie to these students. You know, I'm going to give uh, the, the boys over at Alec and the for-profit college industry. I'm going to give them a piece of advice. What's your advice? And I'm and I'm surprised by this. They shouldn't be called for-profit colleges. Like by now, we, this has gone on long enough. They should have a better name because for-profit colleges sounds bad. Like, it's easy to believe that those people aren't being honest with you and aren't giving you a good education and, right. are, you know, giving you a worthless education and taking your money and you'll default on your student loan. Like, they should have a, they should have a, you know, a great name. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I, I got to give it a little time. But that's a... Like, I'm surprised that they've let that go. Well, the thing is, I mean, obviously, they're not the ones who push this for-profit college title. That's what they are, and that's what critics right. use in order to criticize that. Like, where's Frank Luntz coming up with a better title than for-profit colleges? Like, it's a yeah. weak title. I'm surprised that they don't have a good... They haven't fought back with something that's favorable for them. Yeah, right. That yeah. sounds better than for-profit colleges, which mm -hmm. sounds sinister.